Hey guys, so this will be a quick little speed test between these two. On the left here is the HTC U11. Now this comes with a Snapdragon 835. And this one right here is the four gigabyte of RAM variant. There is another version out there that comes with six gigs. I don't have that. This is the four gig of RAM model. And on the right, product red edition iPhone 7 Plus. This is a 256 gigabyte model. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on both at the same time. And just see which one has the faster boot up here. And we are already in the iPhone. Waiting for the U11. And we are in. I do have a bunch of apps installed on both phones, which I will use for the speed test. So you can see nothing is open in the background. Everything has been cleared out. Everything has been updated. So let's get started. I'm just going to go ahead and open a bunch of basic apps. Here we have messaging. Let's see, where's the camera? There you go. The camera, the calculator. Where's the calculator? Here's the calculator. There you go. All right, we do have the clock. Clock. There we go. Let's see. Play Store and App Store. Ooh. Let's click on that one. Let's see. What can I open next? Let's open eBay. About the same. We'll click on this one. We'll just leave it there. Let's see. Amazon. U11 pulling out way ahead here. iPhone 7 kind of lagged on this one for some reason. There we go. Okay, we do have Twitter. U11 again. Snapchat. Again, U11. Okay, we do have Acrobat Reader. Ooh, it's about the same. All right, let's open some games now. Mario Run, go. Woo! Both about the same. I think the iPhone was a tad faster on that one. All right, up next, we have San Andreas Grand Theft Auto. Let's go. And we have the iPhone pulling ahead here a little bit. After five years on the East Coast. After five years on the East Coast. After five years on the East Coast. Stop the game right there. Okay, next up, what can I open next? Let's open Subway Surfers. Go. And we have the iPhone ahead here a little bit. We'll tap to play. And we'll stop the game right there. All right, what can I open next? Let's open Temple Run 2. Woo! iPhone pulling ahead here by a bit. Stop the game right there. Next up, let's see. Let's open Angry Birds 2. Go. And 
we have the iPhone pulling ahead on this one also. And finally, the U11 launches this game. There we go. All right, so let's take a look at the RAM management on both. As you can see, I have all these apps open here in the background. So let's just go ahead and run through the test again. We were just in Angry Birds, as you can see right there. All right, so let's see, Temple Run 2, ready to play. All right, let's see, we have Subway Surf, ready to play. Okay, and we do have GTA, right? GTA. All right, next game I think is Mario Run. There we go. All right. Now onto the apps. Adobe Acrobat. Ready to go. Let's see, what else do we... All right, got confused a little bit. What do I open next? Oh yeah, Snapchat. There you go, right in RAM. Let's see. Okay, we have Twitter. There you go. Let's see. I believe, see we have this one, Amazon. Right on that camera. Ready to purchase if I wanted it. Let's see. See, we do have eBay. Right on the sandal, right where we left it off. Let's see, yeah, I think it's the uh, Play Store and App Store, right on that HBO program. See, we have the clock right here. Ready to go. And just a few more, I believe. Okay, I think we have the calculator next. Right on the 1999. The camera. And I think one more. Finally, we have the messaging app. And there you go. As you can see, both phones performed really well on this test. We all know what we're gonna expect out of the iPhone. This phone is probably the most optimized device right now. And as for the U11, it didn't do too bad at all. Not bad at all, kept everything in memory. And this phone is very, very fast in its own right. So hit me up in the comments and let me know what you think about this one. Are you a loyal HTC fan? Or are you an Apple fanboy? Let me know in the comments below. I'll be creeping down there. Thanks for watching. Peace out.